before I begin, I don't want to confuse anyone, and I am not meaning this to be offensive, although some might find it offensive. So consumer, the word consumer, somebody had to come up with the word consumer, so that way um, when they belittle somebody, calling them a consumer, they would feel better in their own mind with uh, their form of reasoning skills to call somebody a consumer, right? So now that that's out of the way, um, I, uh, I was driving the other day and I made a point, and yes, this is kind of a joke, um, but it will sink in as to why, but um, I, I was I was driving the other day and I said, don't you worry, if I get pulled over, I'll just cross up my eyes and say, uh, am I not supposed to be driving? Well, I said that for a reason, uh, to, prove a, to prove a point. So, um, however, Mrs. Whitmer's political career, uh, that of being an Ingram County prosecutor, she's a career politician. So there um, are avenues uh, as to oust um, and also have them pass that torch along um, and give it give it up. Uh, so she, uh, a lot of her funding and lobby money came from Blue Cross Blue Shield, openly admitted. Mrs. Nessel took money from DTE, uh, and then has now recently turned around and said for pop when power outages are out, they would like uh, them to compensate for every hour that it's out. Um, but, you know, if they wouldn't have put a foreign object on people's houses to begin with, it, well, it probably wouldn't have gotten to this point. That and when the state decided uh, to do a encroachment is what that was called, they would have never ran into the issues. Um, that and including going into a church uh, and pulling somebody out of a Sunday service to force medication, which I'd be curious to know what the legalities thereof uh, that would be. Uh, so now, now that this stuff is out of the way, the State Bar of Michigan was established by the legislature in 1935. It is an organization dedicated to prove the delivery of legal services. Every lawyer licensed to practice in Michigan is required to be a member of the organization is under the supervision of the Michigan Supreme Court. Before 1935, lawyers could join the Michigan State Bar Association, which was organized in 1890. The State Bar made this building its headquarters in 1959. A four-story addition was completed in 1979. The State Bar of Michigan's guiding principles, as expressed by its first president, Robert P. Hudson, is vitally important. No organization of lawyers can long survive which has not for its primary object the protection of the public, not the protection of special interest groups. I added that part. Uh, so now that that's out of the way, I'm curious to know if the Bar Association is more important than our Michigan State Constitution. Why do I bring this up? Well, simply put, it is self-defeating when an attorney uh, has cases that are lost, according to the bar, the Mark of the Bar Association, uh, that's all, when they lose a case, um, it, uh, it, there is a controversy because if they take a loss on a specific case, but, they, but the outcome is a win, it doesn't look good for their dues when it comes to the association. Uh, but it's because right in our state constitution it says that no other oath shall be taken and so if they're upholding the oath to that said constitution and not the oath to the bar the honky tar the honky tonky bar association there is a disillusion there right and so um what tends to happen is it for instance you'll get a judge that will sit on a bench and such as myself, um, having the community approach me over in a different county, uh, they had approached me, the uh, certain community members, because they had built this brand new jail, right? And so Bob had to say to Jim, hey, we need funding, <clears throat> we need funding for this jail, you know? Well, somebody had to have said, well, hey, I've got this bright idea. Why don't we go ahead and put every single youth on probation in this county? That way we can get more kickbacks from the state to fund this here jail. Uh, so that way it'll get funded quicker, right? 
Well, <clears throat> now that everybody um, in said county, I'm not going to specify which one, there was like ev almost every juvenile was on probation out there uh, with uh, divergent cases. They put them, they made sure to add them in as divergent cases. Uh, so that way they would divert the charge, but they would still get kickbacks from the state. Well, the community out there had approached me and said, hey, you know, um, uh, we entrust you, you know, these certain people within the community. Um, there's this judge that's getting picked up and put in a squad car um, because he's drinking at the bar or wherever else. And this judge has to be transport or transported back and forth um, because he's um, intoxicated, right? Liqueur. Well, that's one example. Another example, judge out of Mount Pleasant, Michigan, uses his authority. And here's it. No, I'm going to shine some light on some stuff. So a judge uh, sitting in his authority on the bench, ruling from the bench, right? Uh, pays people out of Mount Pleasant to um, piss on him, shit on him, uh, literally pays them to do it, right? So the stuff happens. I mean, it's not it, it's not as if it doesn't uh, exist. The stuff happens. So, um, but where the conflict of interest would have been was um, where I was residing in the thumb area in D Ford, and why I had had to leave the thumb area uh, and get away from some of the people out there. There was a conflict of interest because the judge out of Mount Pleasant, who is not who is then Sanilac County's judge, I do believe was a friend with the very person um, whom uh, I was in a relationship with. So there would have been a little bit of conflict of interest and probably some side talks behind people um, without them knowing. So I find that to be very pertinent um, uh, for, you know, hopefully somebody's case or whomever might need to hear that. But yeah, there, was a, there would have been a conflict of interest considering that somebody very close to myself was had relations and was very close to somebody that was a judge um, out of Mount Pleasant that then transferred to Sanilac. Um, so um, hopefully that does help.